Yeah, I was playing John. My name is Senior Review Duty and today I've got a really big treat for you. And basically today we're gonna to look at the Schleich dinosaur models for 2016. And up first we have the Dilophosaurus Weather Eye. Now the, this Dilophosaurus Weather Eye, um, I actually predicted that Schleich would do one within the next few years. Well I actually predicted it for two, 2017. And it looks like my dream has come true, but a lot quicker. Uh, from the looks of it, it's, it looks really nice. I like the, the way the blues, the reds, and the greys contrast with each other. They do really stand out, especially the um, especially the reds. I like the red spikes, the red frill, and the um, little bumps, the little osteoderms on the side of his cheek and all. Um, its hands, again, are suffering from the three fingers instead of four, but I guess we can overlook that. Um, and uh, overall, it looks really nice. I like that little... Uh, eye and I like the little I think it's like a light blue around the eye if you look closely, but it, it looks really nice um, The next one is the Dimetrodon Grandus and this Dimetrodon well I think it's a Dimetrodon Grandus, but this Dimetrodon looks superb the, um, the, the Just look at this. It looks so great. I mean we do I mean obviously there's been re uh, scientifically or uh, scientific analysis that say that this posture is wrong uh, it had Dimetrodon had fur and it's it, it, the sail didn't look like this, but it looks really nice The sail looks really nice on this. I like it a lot. Uh, I like the patterning because it reminds me of a giraffe um, I like the little red osteoderms on the side, so that could be cool um, I'd say the tail is a bit too short, but you never know it, it could be just because of the angle of the picture But I think if you're gonna get this get it for the sail not for the accuracy to be honest look get it for the texture and get it for the um, Look of the figure not the scientific um, like accuracy and all. Uh, up next is a first, um, a du well, a first in Schleich, the Dunkleosteus, and this one I think is going to be a, a Dunkleosteus Teller, really. Um, I do believe that this one, it looks like as if it's going to be like a shade of sandy brown, some br uh, some more browns in there, and then a lot of grey. The grey, obviously, with the skull that really just stands out brilliantly i've never bought i've never had a dunkley osteos figure ever so i think this will be a first for me I'll, I'll try and get a hold of this if i can um up next is the well it's unknown at this point but i think this is a herrerasaurus just from the shape of the skull but obviously this herrerasaurus if this is a herrerasaurus then it's suffering from uh, the three fingers again when it should be about four or five i think um it doesn't look like its jaw is articulated, and then uh, that's another thing I forgot to say about the um, uh, Dilophosaurus. That probably doesn't have an articulated jaw, but this one, I'd say it, it, it looks like it could have an articulated jaw, but I, I won't bet on it to be honest. But overall, it looks like a beautiful figure. It looks really nice, especially on the tail. You can see those little scales and all that um, paint, like sculpted in. That looks brilliant. Uh, next, we got the scenery pack with the Therizinosaurus uh, and the Dimorphodon, uh, and specifically, I think this one is a Dimorphodon Macronix. Um, the the Therizinosaurus, obviously, we got this year, uh, but we got, it, we got it in green, and now we're getting a red one. I'm not probably, I'm probably not going to pick these ones up. I don't know yet. I'll have to see a review, but I think I might just pick it up just for the Dimorphodon. And that Dimorphodon looks, it looks a bit quirky. It looks a bit quirky, but it looks like it has a great paint scheme, especially with those blues and greens on the back. And that tail looks nice, but uh, I don't think anybody would be really getting this for the Therizinosaurus. But, I mean, I mean, come on, it's like just a repaint, that's it. Up next um, is the second scenery pack, and it's the Giganotosaurus and the Cychania. The Cychania looks really nice. Uh, I like that kind of blue, and I love the, arm, the look of the armour. And the osteoderms and the spikes on it. The Giganotosaurus, though, Giganota. <laughs> the Giganotosaurus. Um, I definitely have to say that this is probably. I'd say it's equally as good as the one we got this year, uh, in paint paint scheme wise. Um, I haven't got the one from this year. 
well, I've got I've got the large, I've got the big one, but I'm I haven't got the little red one yet. Uh, I will try and get the little red one before the year ends. Um, but this one, I'm definitely going to get a hold of this one just because of the side chain and the Giganosaurus. So they, they look really nice. Um, up next is the Minasauria. Um, and these are obviously the miniature figures. These are, these will be great for kids. I mean, you've got a um, you've got a Pteranodon, Longiceps, you've got a Spinosaurus, uh, Egypticus, an Ichthyosaurus Commonus, and a Mosasaurus Hoffmani. Yeah, Hoffmani. Um, it looks really nice. They look beautiful, especially the uh, sea creatures, especially the uh, sea reptiles. They look really nice, especially that Mosasaurus over there. It looks nice, but it's again, it's not scientifically accurate. Um, I love the reds and the little like uh, it's kind of like a blue shark in my opinion because he's got the white underbelly and the blue top. I like that. It looks nice. Um, and again with this one, then they're not going to get it for the uh, for the repaints of the uh, Pteranodon and the Spinosaurus. They're obviously going to get it for the Ichthyosaurus and the Mosasaurus. Up next is the second Minosauria, and this time it comes with a Velociraptor, a Kentrosaurus, a Triceratops and a Suchomimus or, Bar or Baryonyx. I think I, I'm pretty sure that's a Suchomimus. I'm not too sure, but just because it has the spikes on, because you don't see many Baryonyxes with spikes on. But I definitely think this is a Suchomimus. But obviously, again with this one, you're gonna people are gonna get it because of the Kentrosaurus and the uh, Suchomimus. And with these uh, and with the um, Tyrann, well not the Tyrannosaur, with the Ichthyosaur, the Mosasaur, and the uh, Suchomimus. There, uh, people are obviously going to think, or oh, maybe they're going to release uh, one in 2017, and I'd actually really hope that they do that because I think these these dinosaur, the well, the one dinosaur and these two archosaurs look really cool. But again, this will be great for kids. Um, so yeah, overall this year it looks like well not next year we're obviously going to get uh, some great uh, figures coming out. Though I will say this. They're not impressive. These these figures, they're not that impressive in my opinion. I think the one the, the ones that really stick out to me in my opinion, um, definitely I'd have to say the Dunkleosteus and the Herrerasaurus. They, they look alright. Um, the the, the Dilophosaurus, it, it just it just it just looks like they've been a bit lazy. But I will say that's the things I like about it. Um, the Dermetrodon, ah, you know something? I think they just ripped off. Papo for some reason, but I will say this: they will look good together. I mean, they do they do look very similar. So I reckon you could have a pair of them, like just just basking in the sun or something. Um, the Giganotosaurus, the Titania, the Dimorphodon, and the Therizinosaurus, they look alright. They look alright. I like them. Minosauria, obviously, they'll be great for kids. Uh, I won't be. I might just buy them just for the figurines, not for the jigsaw puzzles. I'll, I'll probably just like have them somewhere. But um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you've got any opinions on this, um, yeah, comment down below. Uh, these photographs and these pictures are courtesy of Dinosaur. Well, I think it's called My Dinosaur Blog or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's called Dino Toy Blog. Uh, I, I have heard of these. I have been watching a few of their videos. Uh, I think they do an impressive job, so shout out to those. Uh, go and have a look at their YouTube channel. Go and have a look at their forum. That's where I got the pictures from. I'll put a link down below. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I shall see you later. Bye-bye.